Hi there, how's it going? Hope all is well with you. In today's video, I'm sharing with you the project I'm working on. It's a part of my first real world web development project. It's a full stack project. That's why it's something more challenging to me. I'm trying to integrate, you know, Angular and Django and possibly SQL into one single application. So this project is all about managing caps, syntaxes. So the whole idea is to use Angular as a frame as a back, as a front end framework and Django as a back end framework, right? So here are some apps I have created in my Django back end side, right? So here for drivers, for example, and the models, the corresponding columns as well, and serializers I need to convert data to JSON format. It's going to be the only way to connect to the front end, right? Same I did for fleets as well as you know passengers, application, stations as well, and trips. I'm still working on users because it's going to be a part of the authentication system of the project. So if I go back to my front-end side, so let me make sure that everything here is done right. So anyway, here I have some applications as well. So this are component for the you know, front-end side in general. So I have created three or four components, one for a panel just for to generate something out, make it like, you know, make it inside a single page application. It's all about finding the principle of SPA. And here another component for authentication system. And this one is the part component of this child. Components, dashboard, drivers, leads, news. So the same here I found with um, all the files. So here, as, as you notice, you can find the interface or type the file. I try to make it, you know, specifically for the things I need, you know, in my app, you know, all app, app all components inside this application. So for the shared service, don't touch the file is, you know, is the service that we use in Angular to connect to the serializer and PY in order to get data and send it to users and also do the opposite, right? So anyway, let me give you a look at the output of the code. The things I'm, I'm, I'm trying now to accomplish and things I'm creating to now, right? So let me make sure that the Angular and Jenga server is running. So if I go back to my whole project, you can see this is the layout component, and here's the dashboard component, for example. If I click on each one of this, you can see the SBA concept is applied properly here. So if I go back to stations, I can click on add new stations, a new component is coming. This one is called add station component. So here I can create a name of this. This is called, let's say, um, maybe not, park. So here I can enter a location. So I use, by the way, leftless, LGS, with mapping technology in JavaScript. So if I click on this, you can see the location of it and the area I can specify something here. But by the time um, the next version is going to work, let's say the next work is going to be something more automatic. So it means once I click on, you know, the station, I can get the area and capacity automatically. So here I can just do things, you know, automatically here, just, you know, Early and just to test my own applications, you can see here is the alert message said added successfully. So you can see here I can edit it. So I can say here, for example, old park you know, station. I can change as well, you know, location of this park. And also here I can update here, right? It's updated successfully, right? And I can delete it. Yeah, so everything is working. And if I back here again to the same button, if I want, for example, to fill, you know, an appropriate values, let's say, for example, here, this field is only for members. If I try to include, for example, a string, and I keep those fields empty, once I click on them, you can see this error message that failed to be added, right? So now we try to proxy it on there, and choose any location up here, and I'll make this one, three, and add, and that's successful, right? So if I go back to my database, or just to my James server, if I click here on stations, you can see the same base is added here. And the same point comes to my database. I think that's our stations. Dot stations. Right, so you can see the old part stations being added. And all the data will register it in the table. So let me back to all the component as well. So here's the normal one for the fleet. So here I can add the size, for example, let's say is for to five to the the brand, something like that, you know, some student numbers. Here's and here I can choose the station from the database. So let's say let's let's add this one, the new create the one we created before. So we can add, it's added successfully, and 
the same with Candida, I'm sure it's very good with death. Sensually as well, Candida is working globally, same with also drivers. I can't add a new driver name, it's Sean. And John here is not even a member, it's not even here is Sean. Here's the like trip, I didn't create trips yet, so that's why I'm going to skip that. So let me go to trips and decide a new trip here. So those are the stations I created. So here I choose this station, for example, and I want to move from DFB to old block stations. And by the way, I'm um, going to add in the next update of this project a way where I can you know, select the stations in mind and be added automatically to this map with the duration and the distance. Okay, but for now, we try just to keep things you know. This for temporary reasons, just to show you how things work. You know, I can say just some members, and this is successful as well. I can add this successfully. I can also edit that, delete it. So let me back to drivers and on here we have the name, the blog, stuff so like this. You know, you can see here the stations can add to the stroke analyst. You can add it here. It's filthy added because we don't stick the email now. So let's say alternative.com has called you now. So now it's added successfully. I can also delete it if I want to. So that's all for this application. You know, I'm still working on the reports part. I'm still working as well on the dashboard. I would like to display some information from the database here, as well as some, you know, some staff from the database to be included in this map. Here, I don't forget, you know, the, um, the settings part. I need users have this ability to share, update their profile. I don't forget, you know, here, one thing is the code component as well. So it's going to be the ACI of the next you know, part of this application is all authentication system. So that's all for this project. So stay tuned for the next update. I'm going to make it more clean and concise. Bye for now.